Hello, what is up guys? It's Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a chroma key in OBS Studio, or basically edit out your background so you don't have any of your background surroundings. Obviously for this to work, you're going to need a green screen or something like it. Basically, you need a solid color behind you that is different from what you're currently wearing. If you don't have a green screen and don't want to go out and buy one, you can actually make one for under $10. I have a video on how to make your very own green screen. Link is in the description below, also popping up on your screen right now. But once you have that sorted and have your solid color behind you, you're going to navigate to your video capture device, whatever's capturing your webcam footage, right click and click on filters. Inside of the filters menu, you can already see I have several chroma keys added, but we're going to go ahead and make a new one for you right now. Click the plus under the effect filters option down here, the very bottom left corner plus, and on that you're going to be looking for chroma key. You can name it whatever you want, as you can see I have different chroma keys depending on the lighting in my room, but for this video we're just going to call it chroma key 6. When you pop in here, it's going to default to some basic settings. Go ahead and click the top option where it says key color green, set it to custom, and then go ahead and set similarity down to zero, smoothness to zero, and key color spill reduction to zero. The next thing we're going to do is actually do a little trick to figure out what the actual color is behind us. So what you're going to want to do is open up the snipping tool if you're on Windows 10 or 7 or above really, and if not, you can just print screen it, copy it into paint, and kind of basically, basically what you want to do is get this picture here. So we're going to go ahead and hit new, snip this image, and we now have the snipping tool image in front of me. What I'm going to do now is save this, so we're going to save it to the desktop, file save as, and we're just going to call it background2, since I already did this once, and that's it for that. The next thing we're going to need to do is navigate to a website that will let us extract the filter, the hex colors, from that image. So we're going to go to this one right here, I like this one, it works pretty darn well, so we're going to go ahead and click on it and upload our background2 image here and send the image. The link to this website will be in the description below. Once you have this picked, you can see I have two different shades of green in this picture, right? I've got the darker on the left of the image and the brighter on the right. So let's take the brighter first. If I click on the brighter portion here, it's going to give me the actual hex code for that portion of the image, for the color there, that color of green. So if I go ahead and highlight the hex code, copy it on over and head into the OBS again, there's the option to select color. I can select the color and right here I can type in the HTML code, just control V to drop that in. It will change it to the exact color green and hit OK. So now I have a chroma key for that color green. If I start to scale the color match or the similarity slider, you're going to see that as I slide it and increase it, that portion of the image starts to go away. So that's good for right now. What we're going to do is add another chroma key that covers the darker portion of the greens. So we're going to go ahead and hit add to add another chroma key, chroma key. We'll call this one chroma key 8 or 7. I think I'm up to 7. My bad. And under chroma key 7, once again, set smoothness and color spill reduction to 0. Set the similarity back to 0, change the color to custom, and we're going to select color again. This time the color is going to be from the dark section, so head back up to our imagecolorpicker.com website here. Click on the dark region to get the dark color. Grab the hex code, control C, take it back on over into OBS, control V, and you now have the darker green color. Once again, start to slide the similarity, and you can see you start to pull away that color of green. Go back and forth between the filters until you get a solid match of, of color coverage to where everything's blocked out. And you can also mess around with the two filters here, the smoothness and key color spill reduction as well to try and get a smoother image. But this is pretty solid right here. So we're just going to go ahead and hit close. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, I've now completely cropped out my background. I've got the, uh, the, the filters working. The chroma key is working and we're all set and ready to begin recording, streaming, or whatever we want to do with our background removed. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you found it useful. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. I would appreciate it. And subscribe so you stay updated when new content comes out. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.